All right, hey, Shalom and Makiam. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash, Dabon, to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo, Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, but God chosen people. Shalom to all the brothers out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to the Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you can recall Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one you can recall God, the one you can recall Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. And when you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he exists, the existing one. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel upon the destruction of the modern day Babylon, aka America. Alright? So the body Yah Bahashem Yahweh Shai for waking me up another day to teach his teach his word and you know and another uh, opportunity to, to serve him. Because it is truly a, a an, an opportunity the Most High has given us, giving us a chance to come back to Him through His only begotten Son, and, and I'm very, very grateful and thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Double Honesty Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, man. Um, coming back at you with another lesson, man. This this video was made like a year ago, and now we're starting to see the effects of it. And this uh this one farmer say uh starvation is coming. You understand what I'm saying? It's going, to, it's going to really hit Babylon the hardest. You understand? So, listen up. Chad Sullivan coming to you from the headwaters of Bitter Creek, Archer County, North Texas. We have to talk. State officials will be assisting to help identify potential alternative markets if a producer is unable to move animals and if necessary advise and assist on depopulation and disposal methods ladies and gentlemen we are plowing under vegetable crops from coast to coast we are euthanizing millions of chickens we are aborting sows and burying feeder pigs we are dumping milk by the hundreds of thousands of gallons and now they are preparing us to depopulate the fat cattle ready to harvest because of a bottleneck created by the effects of COVID. This thing hasn't been created by COVID, but the effects of COVID and the logistics therein. We are in trouble. Our food supply is in trouble and i am appealing to producers and consumers across the nation to start calling yesterday the first shipment of imported beef from the country of namibia hit the shores of the united states of america and yet this morning they are telling us to prepare to euthanize Harvest ready cattle. Am I the only one that sees a problem in this? It is time we get the American people back to work. It is time we get money flowing. It is time we get food on the shelves. Because if you're not concerned about this food supply problem, you better be. We have a huge supply and demand of food across this nation we can feed the world ourselves and yet we're destroying our harvests yep yep so like i said this video was made <clears throat> a year ago that's when you know everything was locked down and everything got opened up for the short period of time we, we are in and it's about to be locked down again and guess what that is still going on the, these farmers are still being ordered to dump oil, milk, and continue to euthanize the proper way of killing their um, their animals, man. You understand? So, 
Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is fed up. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And he got his prophets out there. <clears throat> Scripture said, Thy eyes shall see thy teachers throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? Scripture also say, As the days of Noah shall, shall also shall be the coming of the Son of Man. They shall be eating and drinking and giving into marriage. American people out here are in La La Land, different parts of the world. But I'm speaking from where I'm at right now. Other brothers can speak from where they're at. La La Land, totally oblivious, except the elect. And you, and you few, uh, few uh, people out there in the internet world, you fake wokers because you don't have the 100% truth. The prophets of Yahweh by Shimei Awashar starting off a great millstone. And any bros that teach like us falls on the same banner of Tabernacle of David has the 100% truth. Because it all goes back to the scriptures, always goes back to Yahweh by Shimei Awashar. The Mosai is about to bring major judgment out here. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it. But for the elect, hey. The servants, we're going to be all right, man. The Most High is going to take care of his, take care of his men, his women, and his and his grandbabies. Because brothers have children as well. Beautiful children, man. Brothers, my, yo, brothers have beautiful families, man. For, for you for you mother effers, you talk shit about us. You understand? So all praise to y'all by Shimei Oshai. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord... Lowercase, this is Yahweh Shai. Hey, all right? Everything has been given into Yahweh Shai's hands. I will bring plagues upon the world. This is the Adi Apocrypha. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay? The sword represents the modern day guns. You understand? Martial law, World War III, famine. Which is going to lead to death and ultimately destruction of this evil, evil empire of America. Okay. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 49. It says, I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. What is widowhood? Okay. Let's go into the word widowhood. <laughs> Widowhood for you women out there, independent. All right, all right. It says a state or period of being a widow or a widower. You know, let's get get more and more intricate to it. Going to the word widow. All right. It says a woman who lost her lost her spouse or partner by death, and usually as has not remarried. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. A lot of you women are going to lose your spouses, <laughs> especially Israelite women. Women, period. Okay. It says, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty. Okay, you got the um was that the, the rent meritorium? People about to be in, be evicted. That's gonna lead to poverty. You searching in the garbage cans for food, robbing people, killing people for food, begging. Women selling a box for food. Famine. Okay. Sword and pestilence. <laughs> you already know what time frame we in. That that the virus is, is real. It's just um, an enhanced version of SARS. That's the pestilence and various other pestilence out there. To waste thy houses with destruction and death. People don't know the mind of the Most High, man, but you're going to find out. The scripture said, my people are foolish. It was it Jeremiah 4 and 22? They have not known me. And a lot of our people are foolish. Matter of fact, 
thing is a joke. Bunch of foolish people, man. You're going to find out a lot of people in your family are foolish. They're going to get jabbed up. Foolish, man. Jeremiah 4 and 22. Okay, this is 22 and 4. Let me type in the word real quick. Let's see. Yeah. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. You guys don't have the proper, majority of our people don't have the proper understanding of the most sign of son. Especially our women. You go to church, whatever, but you don't have no faith. A lot of y'all are scared right now. They are sadish children. Do you know what the word sadish means? Stupid. You're going to find out a lot of your family members are stupid, man. They jabbed up. Our people as well. Stupid as hell, man. They have not, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but this is all you know. Anything you do outside what the Most High has written in this book, because this is the fact checker, you're evil, man. But to do good, they have no knowledge. You don't have the knowledge of the Most High through his son. You don't. People think you do. Bunch of hypocrites. All right? So the Most High called you foolish, and you called you stupid, man. All right? So, that's why we teach the way we teach, austere. And you get all offended. <laughs> Last week, some punk-ass Mexican threw some beer at us. I was like, that was fun, that's it? Like, come on, I'm expecting rockets, explosions. That's nothing. You know? The most I said, my people are foolish and stupid, and you're going to starve, man. Okay? You're going to starve you out using Esau. And various other mechanisms, man. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. And this is it. This was going on right now. Going into the end of the summer, leading to the fall and winter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When Donald Trump was in office, what did he say? This is the calm before the storm. You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, we like Donald, man. That motherfucker. Yo. You understand? This is just the beginning. You people saw what they mandating in New York, the Empire State. So guess who's next? California IA, which used to be a beautiful place of scenery. Everything is dried up. Look like we're living in fucking Arizona out here. If you open your fucking eyes and look around. You understand? The earth has the earth. Certain areas become sandy. Like, what the hell is this? We're not at the beach. You feel me? You know, <laughs> that's that West Coast shit. You feel me? <laughs> so the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, what's going on with Iran, and Israel right now, Germany sent some ships over there to, uh, to Taiwan, Various other places, a lot of stuff is going on. Okay? And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? That's how bad it's going to be. That's how bad it's going to be. This is Ezra seeing like, yo. This is nuts. What? what, 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 what how the hell am I going to get out of this? We gonna, we, I'm going to read to you how we're going to get up out of here, man. How the most side going to protect his elect, man. Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. For who? For the wicked. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor, all, nor be always mindful of their scourges. All right? So is, is the most side is going to bring it in, gradually, gradually, back to back situation. Now people are going to be like, still bewildered, still hard headed. For reasons, the Lord can destroy him. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think 
they shall think themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth, the globe, perish of famine. That's what's coming, man. And the other that escape the hunger shall die by the sword. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Oh boy. The Heavenly Father is about to turn up out here, man. Okay? So, my servants, I think it's Isaiah 65, but I found some other precepts I want to bring out. My servant shall. So, what kind of mind state are we supposed to be in right now? A very serious mind state. Brotherly. You know? On point. Because the most size is getting ready to bring heavy, heavy judgment out here, man, to the wicked. Alright? Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold my servants, the elect. Right out of the nation of Israel only. All right, whether you're Israelite foreigner or you know of the circumcision, so, so to speak. My servants shall eat. My servants shall eat miracles, faith. The beautiful brother down there in the Carolinas, big faith. Even if you got to go a day without food, fuck that jab, man. And Lord willing, most I keep that spirit on all of us like that. Fuck that chip. Children complaining, tell them to suck it the fuck up. You understand? Various obstacles like that you're going to deal with. Alright? But well, he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. And you got to think about your ancestors. One particular story I love to talk about. How the Mosite fed Elijah with, with ravens, man. Miracles is getting ready to happen, man. I believe that. We putting in work. We building, man. That's what the word edifier is doing. All right? We following what Yahweh Shai said. We're the only Israelite group out here going into these prophecies. Everybody is talking about nothing. Nonsense. You understand? So have that confidence, man. The fuck with humility, of course. All right? Don't get it twisted. Be all high-minded, man. Me out of this shit yet. But I'm going to have that confidence. I'm going to have that faith. You understand? Fuck that. The hell? Shit, I want to see this shit, man. Years ago, I was be like, man, Lord will I want to see it, man. I'm excited, brothers. Lord willing, all you brothers out there excited too, man. This is what the most I is going to do for, for his, man. He's going to take care of his. Behold, my servant shall drink, but he shall be thirsty. The wicked is going to be thirsty. Two-thirds of our people, the rest of you, you, you others, it's <laughs> going to be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but he shall be ashamed, man. Like I going to be ashamed. Dealing with Jake. Like, damn. I should have listened. I should have took that jab. I should listen to my nephew, fuck. <laughs> Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but he shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for the vexation of spirit. Yeah, think about that. That could be many, many things, man. Gonna be in it, man. You, you people gonna be hurt, man. All right. And he shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. Two-thirds of you, you're cursed. For the Lord God shall slay thee and shall call his servants by another name. That he who bless himself in the earth shall bless himself in the, in the Mosai of truth. And he that swear in the earth shall swear by the Mosai of truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. All right. 
For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come to mind. So that's the kingdom, man. So once we get up out of here, what a fucking nightmare. That nightmare is over. So in order to get to the new heavens and the new earth, meaning everything going to be rejuvenated, revitalized, all right, replenished, we got to go through this. Jacob's trouble, our temptation, World War III, and the elect will be victorious. All right, you got, man, you got to go into this a victory mind state. Floyd Mayweather ain't, ain't, ain't man. Why do you think the apostles and elders, a lot of brothers like Floyd Mayweather when we, you know, into the boxing? It's for a reason. We ain't talking about his money, his life. So we're talking about his discipline, his mind state. I mean, fuck him. We know, brothers, don't get it twisted. Talking about the spirit behind it. All right? Fuck that. Hard work, dedication. Hard work is what easy works. We're going to go through this, man, with confidence. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck that, man. I'm excited. The Lord will be, you know, to the end. Job chapter 5, verse, um, what is it, man? Is it 20? Yeah, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and in, in the seven there shall no evil touch thee. You know, with the seven trumpet, that, that destruction that's coming, a complete number of, of judgment is coming unto you. No, number seven means completion. What's the, what's the completion? The missiles. And in famine he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of the sword. Man, we're going to have protection. Brother's going to get that spiritual power. The angel's going to show up. Michael and all them, man. That's what's written. Our ancestors, the Maccabees brothers. Divine interventions with the angelic forces. Read, read upon that. And I forgot what king in the book of um, Isaiah, the book of Kings, uh, we were surrounded by the Assyrian troops. And, and, and um, man, I forgot the name of the king. And, the, the, and, and when they woke up, Israel woke up in the morning, it was, it was dead bodies all over the place from our enemies because the angels went through and smite them at night. And various other instances out there, man. You, when, you, when you read this, you got to picture this. Man. I believe that, bro. The fuck? That's the type of power we serving. You think going to leave us out here to die, man? I don't believe that. That's why the Heavenly Father has us to where the apostles and elders, Stone of Apostle Horace, said to do videos every day. It's for your benefit so you can build a strong relationship. It's going to be by yourself. Some of us going to be by ourselves, man. And you been, you doing this on a daily basis, going to these scriptures. It sticks to you. It's inside of you now, man. You have you have a, you have a connection. The hell. And then famine shall redeem thee from death, and then war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hit from the scourge of the tongue. All these draconian measures that's coming. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it coming, man. <sighs> Don't get me don't get it wrong, brothers. You're in the flesh. You're going to get a little nervous, but you got to overcome that. Your mind got to be strong. And you and we will. Lord willing, we all, you know what I'm saying? Lord willing, brothers. Let the Lord will be done. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, man. What kind of spirit? <laughs> you see, man, people starving. Like the Utopia show, check it out. The English, I mean, the American version in that comic book, which was like the scriptures of future events, you see people eating dead bodies and that shit, like chewing on somebody's leg bone, man. In the drawings, I was like, what the hell? Savages, man. So we're we going to be laughing at that. <laughs> Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Beast of the earth. Okay. Let your imagination run run wild. Everything that you've seen, different crazy shows, yeah, you're going to see it and the regular animals, man. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall, shall be at peace with thee. These judgments that's coming is for the wicked. 
And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thine habitation, and thou shalt not sin. All right? This part right here. That thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great. Our children, our offsprings, shall be great. Our family members we lose on this side, whatever. We're going to be able to bring them back in the kingdom. And thy offspring as the grass of the earth. Israel is coming back innumerable, man. Okay? So, hey, brothers, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. That's all we could do. And to body Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Lord will to the end, brothers. Shalom.